Good afternoon YouTube, Xfile2708 back again with another video. Something different for um, today's video. Um, I'm doing a video response, um, a video that's been uh, doing the rounds at the minute. Uh, not too sure exactly where it started off, but I know my good friend um, Sammy G, he's done it, um, as has Stuart George. Um, Ash over at Popcorn and Horror, I think, did it recently as well. Um, and recently, well, this afternoon, I saw JT at the movies um, doing this particular video as well. So I thought it was uh, long overdue um, that I chipped in with my 10 movies in my collection that I haven't seen before. Um, yeah, and some of these titles, guys, you will be shaking your head but you know it's it's one of those there's thousands of movies that um i've watched over the years um you know i've been watching movies since i was a kid at the end of this month uh believe it or not i am 51 so that's a um a shit ton of time that i've put into uh, watching movies over the years and there's always going to be um you know those um movies that you know either haven't been on my radar to watch um, or I've not had in the collection at any point. Um, I mean, recently, um, myself and James did the uh, the top 10 uh, non-horrors and he had Shawshank Redemption. I'd never seen Shawshank Redemption before, got it into the collection, watched it for the very first time last week. What an absolutely superb movie. And, you know, it, it was one of those that, you know, it was put back onto my radar. I thought, yeah, a lot of people over the years I've heard say um, really good things about that movie. So I'm glad I checked that one out. Same as with, um, uh, what was it, Wolf of Wall Street. Again, another movie up until probably a couple of months ago that I've never seen before. Um, again, loads of people um, speak really highly about it. Ghost Lewis seen it recently and spoken about how much he enjoyed it and how much of a really good film it was. So again, that was another one that I got into the collection and uh, I gave for a first time watch. So there's always gonna be those. And you know, even at some point when I've got round to watching these 10 that I've never seen before, there'll probably be another 10 that I haven't seen before. And again, I'll, uh, I'll chip away over time and uh, get those watched as well. So oh, I'll tell you what guys, it's bloody a wafting again today. Oh. Orange and mango, lovely. Right, so yeah, like I say guys, those um, channels there that um, have done this one before, then um, head over, links in the description to each of them. Really good channels, ones that um, I watch regularly and really enjoy interacting with um, with the guys that run those channels as well. Right, Waffleage Over. Movies, 10 movies I've never seen before in my collection. First one, Truman Show. This is one from 1998. Um, and again, it was one that James spoke really highly about um, in his top 10 non-horrors uh, when we did the from horror to Hollywood episode um, recently. I think it was episode two. Um, but yeah, never seen the Truman Show. So um, hearing James speak so highly about it, I tracked it down um, in a local, I think it was local CEX actually. I picked it up nice and cheap. So it's in the collection now and it's on my radar to watch at some point. So um, it's supposed to be a really good, um, what is it? Is it a comedy? Comedy drama, not too sure, but it's got Jim Carrey in, so I always um, associate Jim Carrey with uh, with comedies. So uh, yeah, looking forward to checking this one out finally. So there we go, Truman Show. Next up, I'm gonna shake my head at all of these because all of these I've heard nothing but um, good things about over the years. And yeah, I've never seen any of them. Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey from uh, 1968, I think it was. Um, but yeah, never seen this one before. So massive um, Stanley Kubrick fan. 
Um, obviously, you know, the likes of um, The Shining and uh, Clockwork Orange, big favourites of mine. Uh, but yeah, never seen this one. I think when I um, checked the um, the dates on um, IMDb for these, I think this gets like an 8.3 out of 10. So one I've never seen before, but it's in the collection and um, on the shortlist to watch uh, very shortly. So that's my second one. Next up, again, pick this one up. Um, off the back, a lot of people recently have picked this one up on 4K um, and spoke really highly about it, but it's one that I've never seen before. The Abyss. So this is one from... I didn't put it down. <laughs> I didn't write it down on the, the, on the list, but um, yeah, the writing's far too small. Um, but yeah, from... Seeing the guys pick up um, the 4K releases of this and speaks highly about it, it um, it piqued my interest and I thought, yeah, I need to uh, grab this one. So myself and Ghost Lou were um, across at one of the local charity shops uh, last weekend. So uh, I saw this one there on the shelf, 50p. So I thought, right, that's, uh, that's coming into the collection and uh, getting watched very shortly. So there we go. Next up, one I mentioned before on uh, one of my recent videos, uh, The Burbs, again, never seen it before. Tom Hanks, uh, one from 1989. Again, I think this is at a um, Arrow Blu-ray release, if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, one that I've never seen before and uh, always heard people speak highly about. So uh, again, it's in the collection and one that I need to check out very shortly. In fact, what I might do for these, um, this pile of 10 is keep this pile out and um, have that as my pile to uh, to get through over the next couple of weeks. So there we go. Hopefully get a chunk of these watched finally. So there we go. Tom Hanks in the verbs. All right, let me just have another quick, quick slurp. Oh, dear me. Right. Next up, from 2001, we have 13 Ghosts. Um, again, big um, favourite with a lot of people. Um, heard this is supposed to be all kinds of odd and a really good twist in, but again, it's all... What's that noise? I don't know. Anyway, uh, talking about ghosts, yeah, and then random noises start happening. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, everybody speaks so highly about this one. It's supposed to have a really good twist at the end, but again, never seen it before. So um, yep, 13 ghosts, that's probably near the top of my um, uh, list to, uh, to watch soon. So there we go. Next up. Mel Gibson's Signs, and that's from uh, 2002. So, again, I think back in the day, I used to have this on um, VHS, but, again, it was one that just sat on the shelf, and I never had um, the inclination to um, to watch it above other things that I'd got in the collection. So, no idea, actually, if this is any uh, any good or not. It's um, M. Night Shyamalan, however you pronounce uh, the name. So, yeah, any fans of that one, let me know. So, signs with Mel Gibson. Don't know anything about it at all. The story of the Hess family in Bucks Country, Pennsylvania, who wake up one morning to find a 500-foot crop circle in their backyard. There we go. Signs. Next, one from 1975. Um, mentioned um, The Shining before, so we've got Jack Nicholson in One That Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Again, one that's completely passed me by over the years, um, and again, heard nothing but praise when uh, people have spoken about um, their enjoyment of this movie. So, yeah, that's one I have never seen before that uh, criminally needs uh, a watch very shortly. So, there we go, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Next up, a John Carpenter movie. So, massive fan of um, John Carpenter's movies over the years. One of my all-time favourites. 
um, or certainly my all-time favourite John Carpenter movie is They Live, uh, closely followed by The Thing. But this later one of his, Ghosts of Mars, has always passed me by. So this is one from 2001. So, again, I think when I was collecting a few years ago, this was one that I got back into the collection on Blu-ray. Um, and again, just didn't get round to watching it above other stuff that I fancied watching that bit more. But um, I've seen a few people speak about this one recently um, and it kind of piqued my interest. And I thought, yeah, it's a John Carpenter movie. It kind of, you know, ranks down the bottom end of um, people's rankings for uh, John Carpenter movies. But it really is one that um, I need to watch for myself and uh, form my own opinion on. So it's uh, it's back in the collection again and on the pile to watch again very shortly. Two more to go, guys. First one, this is an import Blu-ray, uh, but it is... Clive Barker's Nightbreed from 1990. So there we go. Again, another one I have never seen before. I um, think it's got a bit of a, a cult following from what I'm led to believe. But again, always one that's just passed me by over the years. So uh, looking forward to finally checking this one out over the coming couple of weeks. And then finally, one from... 2001 this was um, a very kind gift from a good friend James um, and this is uh, it's actually the Criterion collection the edition but uh, yet yeah, Mulholland Drive from 2001 so again another movie that um, has got a really big cult following um, one I have never seen before so um, yeah looking forward to finally checking this one out at, uh, at some point shortly there we go guys that's my video for today so my 10 movies in my collection i mean i could probably pick out you know an, an, another two or three videos worth in the collection uh, behind me that i haven't seen before but um looking up and down the shelves those were the the 10 probably more um popular titles that i'm aware of that um, a lot of people will have seen before that I haven't. So let me know in the comments there, guys, any of your favourites. Like I say, link in the description to Stuart George, uh, Sammy G, Ash over at Popcorn and Horror, um, and JT at the movies. Check out all of those channels, guys. Really good uh, guys. Brilliant collections and really knowledgeable with it as well. So... As always, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll be back later on in the week with another video. Bye for now.